What's going on everybody? This is the Echo and welcome back to a new video. You know what time it is. It's Christmas. Oh, wait, wrong episode. Uh it's Halloween! The time of putting on a costume and getting really sweaty because it's time for an unpredictable night. Now, obviously, as a punk teenager myself, my heydays of trick-or-treating are basically over. And now the only thing I do is get Reese's Pieces and cry. Oh yeah, and eat the candy too. But that doesn't mean I haven't learned a thing or two when it comes to trick-or-treating. I know a lot about it, and I know. People hate Gen Z kids. I mean, I don't. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't teach the youngins, and yes, that's the actual word, what it was like for us kids. So in this video that you're probably watching after Halloween, which kind of becomes pointless, you, my friend, are going to come with me as I show you the ways of trick-or-treating. But before I do, I would like to talk about the sponsor of today's video. It's nothing. There's no sponsor. And there probably won't ever be a sponsor ever again. So obviously, if you want to go trick-or-treating, you're going to need one thing. A costume. Move away, really good costume with probably way good effort. Let's head to Spirit Halloween, shall we? I am surprised I have gone 370 videos without talking about Spirit Halloween. Because Spirit Halloween is honestly not a bad place for Halloween stuff. But I'd be damned if it was an annoyance that the only times you even go there is when they rent a whole store and stuff like that. But... Again, it's a really nice place with great stuff. Like, for example, ooh, this FNAF costume. I am so gonna get bullied. So after trying out your costume, getting laughed at, and then checking out, you now have an eye-catching costume. So now what do you do? Well, you just wait for Halloween. Duh. Now, it's October 21st, the time of me recording this video, but I guess I can do a time jump just so it'll be Halloween. Hey look, it's Halloween. Also, I really bet would set my fingers. So now you have the requirements of Jerk or Treat, but where to go in the first place is a completely different thing. Now obviously, I don't know where you live, and I'm not going to find your IP address to find out what neighborhood you live by, because I can leave you in jail. But to brief everything mostly, the things I've got over the years, there are about three types of neighborhoods. Now again, there are three types of neighborhoods, and according to this very nice show I made here, this will help us learn about it. For example, you have the most average American households. You know like those stock photos you see when you're trying to find something really specifically? Yeah, it's like one of those. But besides that though, it's all not that bad. Normal candy, and all that stuff all around. But then... There is the rich neighborhood, the almighty of all neighborhoods, full-size candies, decorations that will blow you away, not literally, and also fancy people that just let you in inside for some reason, even though you can't really do that anymore. But these neighborhoods are certainly God's wishes and something that you should look for. But then, you have the ghetto, which is the neighborhood where I live. Yeah, imagine instead of getting candy, you either get a, like, a death threat or like those candies with like the blazes in them. You better hope that's a kid in a clown costume and not a guy trying to murder you. But hey, the ghetto is pretty wild and not just on Halloween. So obviously, we want to go to the more safer area, not only to get candy, but to not get killed. So now, we make this improvised plan so that you can get as much candy as possible. And on the night of Halloween, we are off. Now, when I say improvised, I really mean it. Because to be honest with you, there's never really been a route for me when it comes to trick-or-treating. But I would say that... Start from one end of a neighborhood and go on a really nice smooth route and do not go all crazy. Just a nice smooth route. So now that we're actually off and running with trick or treating, I will say this. You don't know what you're going to get because it's honestly pretty wild. You might get a Snickers bar or a kick out one house or just play nothing the next. I do remember this one time someone gave me like a tiny orange bible. It was quite a shocker, but I took it anyways because you never say no to anyone that gives you candy or anything else. I know my screen little five-year-old did that, and I ended up not going trick-or-treating that year. 
So finally, it's the end of the night and you have this big lump of candy. So, what are you supposed to do with it now? Well, you eat it all, obviously. You worked hard enough for it. I believe you deserve a reward. Now, be careful now. You might get sick, but you probably don't care. I mean, I wouldn't care either. Now, after that, you get sick really bad and you go to the doctors and that's that. You've had the best Halloween the teenager way. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. So... I'm sorry this is a little shorter than my other videos, but I was I had some issues I had to deal with um, outside of YouTube, and I had to, like, do all that. But anyways, guys, hope you guys have a great Halloween, or if you're watching this after Halloween, just wait until, like, 365 days later just so I can say have a great Halloween again, and spend time with your family and all that good stuff, because I feel like that's what the point of Halloween is. But, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to all the so you don't miss a post. Like, I messed it up, but whatever. But, anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!